Hello, today we'll be covering Red Hat Satellite 6.2's feature, importing existing hosts via the Bootstrap script. The Bootstrap script was designed to satisfy two major use cases. The first use case is registering systems that weren't provisioned via Satellite 6. Say if you had a different non-Red Hat provided management solution that does provisioning, however you wanted to register those systems to Satellite for content and configuration management, the Bootstrap script is a method you can use. Additionally, the Bootstrap script was designed to help migrate systems from Red Hat Network Classic or Satellite 5 into Satellite 6. In the migration use cases, such as that with Network Classic and Satellite 5, the steps that we follow in general are we install Subscription Manager and its prerequisites if they aren't installed already. We make an API call to the satellite server to create the host object create specified uh, with the user's correct location and organization. Additionally, we install the Contello Consumer RPM. We run RHN Migrate Classic to RHSM, which does some prerequisite steps such as installing product certs on the system, which are needed for migration. And lastly, we register the system to satellite or via a satellite capsule for the purposes of ensuring that it has the correct content configuration as well as configuration management configuration. For a standalone system or a system that's registered to Red Hat Subscription Management, we follow similar steps but we skip some of the migration steps. That is, we make an API call to the satellite again to create the satellite host associated with the correct organization and location. We install a Catello Consumer RPM. We run Subscription Manager with the user provided activation key to register the system. We set the system up for a puppet and we remove any of the old RHN Classic packages and daemons such as RHN SD or OSAT. Next, we'll go into our demo. Getting started with the bootstrap script is rather simple. Installed on the satellite or the satellite capsule in the slash pub directory is the bootstrap script, which is provided by the Catello client bootstrap package. Let's look in slash pub on the satellite. As usual, we can see the exports directory for inner satellite sync, as well as bootstrap.py and the various other consumer RPMs needed to register a system. To begin bootstrapping a system, Copy the link for the bootstrap script, head over to an SSH window for a client, and pull that down via wget, curl, or any other function that can pull a file across the network. Next, we'll go ahead and make the file executable. And then we'll run it without any parameters just so that we can see all the various options that bootstrap presents to us. Next, I'll go ahead and run bootstrap.py, provide a username, which is required to create a host, provide the host name of my satellite server, provide an organization and a location, a host group, and nested host groups are supported, and lastly, provide an activation key. As we did not specify the administrator password on the command line, the script will prompt us for it. You can pass it as a parameter, but that's not preferred. So we'll provide the password, and then we can begin to see the script run. As you can see here, we pull down the Catello RPM to install the public CA certificate. We make an API call to Satellite to create the host. We register the system using the uh, subscription manager functionality, and then we install various things required for the system to be properly managed via Satellite 6. As an example, we are currently installing the Catello agent and setting that up correctly, and we're also installing and configuring the Puppet agent. After we install the Puppet agent, you'll see that the script will stop and actually pause. It's paused because it needs a uh, SSL certificate in order to manage the system properly via Puppet. You can enable auto signing, which makes this functionality happen automatically for uh, all systems or a subset of systems. In this example, we do not have auto signing enabled. So what you'll need to do next is head back over to the satellite UI, go to the satellite or capsule in question under infrastructure capsules, select the certificates dropdown, And as this loads, you'll see we'll have a system, bootstrap2.example.com, 
which is currently pending. We will go ahead and click sign to approve the certificate so that the system can finish and complete its puppet setup. After we hit sign, we'll head back over to the client's SSH window and it's periodically checking in to see if it has a uh, signed cert and very shortly it will receive that signed cert from the satellite server and complete the bootstrapping process. And lastly, one of the last tasks that we'll complete when we run the bootstrap script is to remove any classic packages that were needed on the older Red Hat Network platform, such as Red Hat Network Classic or Red Hat Satellite 5. We'll remove packages such as like the RHN package, the RHN plugin, OSAD, uh, as well as like the Spacewalk OSCAP package. So now if we head over into the UI and head to our host page, We'll see our newly bootstrapped host, bootstrap2.example.com, and we can manage the system just like it was any other system that was provisioned via satellite server. And this concludes our demonstration.